हाउ टू कवर पीडियाट्रिक्स फॉर योर एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन नीट पी जी आई एन आई एंड एफ एम जी हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर सिकेश आई सिक्योर्ड अ रैंक ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड फोर्टीन इन दिस ईयर नीट पी जी एग्जाम दिस वॉज माई इंटर अटैम्प्ट एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर पीडियाट्रिक्स फ्रॉम ईच कॉर्नर द वेटेज बेसिकली द नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट आर आज इन एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन द सोर्सेज द मस्ट डू एंड इन ऑफ सोर्सेज फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन टू मेक मैक्सिम क्वेश्चन करेक्ट इन योर एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन and the sequence in which you should do your pediatrics part first you should do what source then what source you should do to complete the pediatric section and also some of the tips that i used during my internship phase and before the examination to complete the pediatric section and in the last part i will share my telegram channel id where i share some of the pdfs that i used during my uh, internship time that will help to improve your rank and ace in the examination so friends do listen to these 8 to 10 minutes and you will get the most important points to cover your pediatric section consider me as your friend as a senior who will share the learnings that i acquired during my journey and now coming to the video first we will see the weightage basically the number of questions that are asked in the entrance examination friends in neat pg around 10 questions are asked easy to moderate level difficulty and in i9 around 10 to 12 questions are asked uh on an usual basis but this year surprisingly 15 to 17 questions are asked from the pet section so it is important to cover the pediatric section thoroughly to cover your entrance examination questions because this part may be coming with a lot of questions in future also so you have to give proper attention to this part and to make your most of the questions correct i will tell you the sources and the uh supplements that you have to do to cover these questions First of all friends I want to say that there is no single best rapid revision or any of the rapid revision that is present from any of the coaching institute that I felt is adequate and enough for covering the pediatric section so I will not be telling you the rapid revision to do for the pet section I will tell you the other sources that covered almost all of the questions from the entrance examination of this year and also in the future years so now we will see how to approach this subject because you are not going to do the rapid revision for this subject friends the best approach the best content to cover the pet section of entrance examination is to cover the btr and bonus btr btr and bonus btr have all the must know topics and even the rarely asked topics are also present in bonus btr so you have to cover btr and bonus btr thoroughly and after that you have to supplement it with the dvt part of the dams The dams DVD is of two videos for PET section, and they are not very long. They are around uh, one and a half to two hours. You have to two. Uh, you have to watch these two videos, and you have to do the BTR and bonus BTR, and compile these PDF to a single PDF of around sixty to seventy pages. And this PDF you have to revise multiple times because there are a lot of facts also. There are a lot of classification and uh, volatile topics also. and this will be a content that will cover your most of the questions and you have to practice mcqs also i will tell you how to practice your mcqs but the main content you have to do for pet section is the btr and bonus btr and supplement it with dams dvd no need to cover the rapid revision of any coaching institute according to me this is the best source to cover your almost all entrance questions you can also check it by covering these sources and trying the previous year questions now coming to the MCQs you have to practice. See friends, you have to practice the previous year questions only from the three examination: NEET, PG, INI, and FMG. For NEET, PG, you have to uh, practice your NEET, PG, and FMG section thoroughly multiple times. The five year of uh, five year PYQs basically. And if you are done with these five year PYQs, you you should do the ten year PYQs. Never go to the main question bank if you are intern or post intern. You will surely deviate from your path of entrance examination. you should first cover the 5 year then 10 year mcqs of these examination because a lot of mcqs are present in pyqs only so to cover them adequately multiple times you have to give your main focus to these mcqs and for ini you have to practice 5 year ini both shift then 5 year ini of another past 5 years been basically making a 10 year pyqs and to cover these mcqs you require a lot of time and if you are intern and post intern the time is the limiting factor and also you have to make the concise notes of mcqs and how to make them i have made a detailed video by showing you live demo of some of the examples and you can watch that by clicking of uh, the description box i have uh, attached the link of that video and also you can check the channel for 
MCQ, how to solve the MCQ and make notes, I have made a detailed playlist on it also. So friends, your basic sequence to cover this subject is basically first do the BDR and DVT, make your notes of around 60 to 70 pages. This is the first point you have to do. Then you have to practice your MCQs and the content for that will be the PYQs, 5 years and then 10 years. And then you have to evaluate yourself. How you are going to evaluate yourself? Either you should go for the custom modules using the tags of AIMS, NEET, PG or FMG or you can go for the subject wise test of the peer section. Also in the GTs, when you are covered, when you have covered all the subjects, you can give GTs and evaluate your PEAT section. And in this way, you are going to cover the pediatrics from each corner and you will see that you are going to make uh, almost 90% of questions correct in your entrance examination. And this approach will work for you. This is sure that if you do these three things in order with multiple revisions, you are surely going to do wonders in the exam. Now friends, a couple of tips that I want to give regarding uh, PEATS preparation. First of all, that there are questions from developmental milestones and this is a very volatile topic. And what I used to do is basically I make a sticky wall for each of the developmental milestone domains and stick on my wall. And I used to visit this uh, sticky notes multiple times during my day and during my preparation. And in this way, ultimately it will get in your uh, memory. So you can also practice this because when you make any kind of 20 notebook, you have to you have to open it multiple times. But this technique of making sticky notes is always present in front of your eye. So you can see at any time. So this you have to do for your volatile topics and especially the multiple uh, developmental milestones. Second tip is regarding the FOMO of not covering the systemic pediatrics in detail because systemic pediatrics in detail is like a medicine of uh, children. So I also get worried how I can cover this part but ultimately I covered these uh, topics, these sources only and in the examination and in the previous year questions also or in the GTs also the questions are asked from these many sources only. So I will suggest you not to worry about the systemic PEED section because there are a lot of information in it and cover these sources with multiple revisions and you will throw with your uh, PEED section for entrance examination. So friends, this is all regarding PEED sections, the sources, the sequences, some of my tips that I use during internship. This is all you have to do multiple times, do them and you are going to ace in the examination as I said earlier also. So friends, the playlist is now completed. For each subject, I initially thought of the uh, major subjects only but on your request, I have made for the short subjects also and for other prof subjects also. And now this playlist cover each subject individually and you can cover your entrance examination, the must know and enough sources from seeing each of the individual subject video and the playlist is available on my YouTube channel playlist section or in the description box also I have attached the link. So friends, keep studying, be confident, never ever lose hope in your life. You will surely achieve your rank, desired rank, best wishes from my side and if still you have any doubt left in your mind for any of the subject, you can comment in the comment section or you can message me directly on my telegram channel or my insta id both are available in the description box thanks for watching the video till here friends if you like the content do share and subscribe the channel to your friends the juniors also and we will meet in a new video till then bye goodbye take care